There are a lot of things I just don't understand. Hey guys, we're here to talk about stuff. Sometimes it's silly, sometimes it's serious. But don't worry about us getting too formal. We're only here to make it normal. Ladies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am currently in my bedroom at home because I decided to take a trip this weekend. I was really homesick. I also got Chinese food, so it's been an okay weekend. Mm. Update number one. I said that I would be dieting and restricting um, my intake of food. Not restricting, but um, cutting back. It's been going well. I haven't really um, binge eaten in a while, so that's good. My, I sprained my ankle, so I wasn't really able to exercise, and now I will be able to, which is awesome. And I have a friend who said he'll help me work out and stuff. I know I probably mentioned that in the last video, but I just have good friends. Update number two. I have new glasses. I'm really excited. These are bigger than my old ones, and that's for two reasons. First reason. I like to see as little of the frame of the glasses as possible. And reason number two, they just make my eyes look less tiny. Now that you know I have really small eyes, you can't unsee it. I'm sorry. Update number three. I said I was going to be cutting back on certain foods, and I'm also cutting back on certain people. There are people in my life who have recently made me feel inadequate and like I don't matter and it's not fair. I just can't take the stress and the disappointment anymore. I just don't want to do it. So I'm cutting those people from my life. Sayonara. In the next part of my video I'm going to talk about positive female role models in the media. We have these female child stars that start out with an aura of innocence and sweetness and somehow, somewhere along the line, they can want to shed that image, so they start acting out. You have people like Amanda Bynes or Miley Cyrus, and it gives girls a bad name. I'm not going to say that what these girls are doing is wrong. By any means, I am not going to say that. It's their choice, and I fully support them choosing what to do with their bodies. However, <laughs> they're role models, and it's not setting a great example for children. Now, I'm not saying it's their responsibility to be role models. It just comes with the territory. I'm going to make a short list of some positive female role models who have done things that have proven that they have a level of maturity that they didn't previously have. Number one, Mara Wilson. If you don't know who Mara Wilson is, she played Matilda in the movie Matilda. She also played a couple of other roles, like she was in Mrs. Doubtfire as Robin Williams' daughter, and I'm not completely sure what else she was in, I didn't really watch any of it. We know that a lot of child actresses spin out of control. However, this did not happen to Mara Wilson. Mara Wilson is now a successful writer and has not been in the media for anything negative. So I applaud her on keeping her name clear. Number two, Taylor Swift. When she started out, she quickly rose to fame and people began to notice that all of her songs were about relationships and a lot of them were spiteful. For example, Better Than Revenge, which was just calling out one of her ex's hookups, which was kind of a crappy thing to do. And totally, totally immature. But I feel like she's grown from that and a lot of her songs have shown that. Um, a lot of her more recent songs are more positive and while they still focus on relationships, she knows that. And people are supposed to be allowed to draw from their experiences. It's a problem when Taylor Swift writes about her past relationship experiences, like when she's been wronged or she's wronged others, but people like John Mayer, Bruno Mars, and Ed Sheeran can do it without a problem, and they're just seen as sensitive guys. But Taylor Swift is seen as crazy or manipulative or just a bitch, and I just, I don't think that's fair. This is not going to be a feminist rant, and I'm not going to elaborate on my thoughts about the difference between male and female artists who write about the relationships. I just wanted to point out that she's being ridiculed for the same thing that a lot of male artists are doing that don't get any hate for it. I'm very proud of what she's done lately, especially with her songs, Shake It Off, 
and blank space. Shake It Off is obviously just telling the people who ridicule her or hate on her, hey, say what you want. At the end of the day, it's my opinion about myself that really matters. And Blank Space is pointing out all of the stupid things that the media has said she does or is, and it's great that she can laugh at herself and spin it in a way that makes other people laugh. Kudos to you, Taylor. Number three. Jennifer Lawrence has been in the media recently because of her news. She sent the pictures to her then-boyfriend Nicholas Holt and a hacker leaked the photos. A lot of people were saying that she should not have sent them if she was worried that they would get out. Her, my favorite response of hers was when she basically said, we're not together all the time and either your boyfriend's going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. Have your pick. <laughs> a lot of girls said nudes and the only thing that made this different was that she was a celebrity and she didn't let people judge her for it or incriminate her for it, which is very admirable. Now I'm not saying you should be sending out nudes. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that taking something negative and owning it is definitely very admirable and kudos to her. I'm not an expert on global affairs or the media, but I see these women and I feel proud to be a woman. And I think that's what young girls see too. And I hope that the impressionable young girls in the world learn from these women that women can be smart and brave. Uh, that's the world I want to live in. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it here. But I will remind you to make it normal by keeping it weird. Bye guys. Look at how thick that lens is.